is placed coat jelly on top of a regular hexagonal prism of base side 30 and height also part of the axis 60. That means first I uh, should construct this hexagon that is uh, first I have to draw the orthographic top P. So remember it for the polygons such as triangle, pentagon and hexagon. We should always construct the orthographic top P because you require box dimensions in order to construct it. Okay. Change the dimension to 30. Now using this box dimension Okay, we have constructed the box. I have to show the box dimensions. Okay, so for the hexagon box with the box dimensions constructed, now I will be constructing the orthographic of it. Take a reference line. Okay. So from this reference line, so construct a box for a length of 51.96, that is what the first length, 96 and angle 30 degree, okay. the second length is length is 60, angle is 150, again the length is 51.96 angle is 210 so now join so box it is constructed now we have to cut the arcs ok for a length of 51.96 we will be cutting a arc of 25.98 take the radius and cut the arc the same way in the opposite side also I will be cutting for the same arc length Okay, that is 25.98. Use the radius 25.98 and cut the arc. Okay. Now for that other edges, we have to cut a arc length of 15 mm from the corner ends. Okay, 15 mm. From this side also 15. Cut it. Same way from here also. That is for 15 mm. Same way you can do it here. Radius of 15. Okay. Now go to thick line. connect all these points Okay, that's complete the bottom of the hexagon. Now we have to consider a vertical height of 30 mm. You can see 30 mm length of the axis. So height should be 30. First, I will draw the vertical line from one reference and 30. Okay. We'll go to move command, wait a copy. Select the corner end and then place it respect to all the corner points okay 
I am using continuous line over the join on this corner points. Okay, so if I complete the hexagon, now exactly at the center of it, we have to place the cone here. Okay, so to place the cone here separately, what I'll do, I'll be constructing the hemisphere that is ellipse of dimension 40 separately. You can see the right regular cone on base side 40 mm. Okay, on one side I'll be constructing by taking length. The length will be 40, angle is 30, and again length is 40, angle is 150, length is 40, angle is 210. Join it. And go to lines, select it, make these lines as thin. Okay. Okay, now go to again line using 4 arc by centimeter. 4 arc by centimeter. Construct the ellipse. We all know how to construct the ellipse. Cut the arc. So taking the first length as a reference third point is, is your reference point and cut the arc same way for the fourth point okay after constructing the ellipse I'll make the ellipse as thick here thick line okay now I'll be drawing the two lines to find out the center okay the same case i want to do it in the hexagon uh, sorry hexagonal prism also so getting the center point now by selecting the center point of the cone uh, sorry uh, ellipse okay i want to place exactly on the center of this Hexagonal prism. Okay, select exactly the center point so that you're going to place it exactly in the center point. So, and again, I'm going to do it. So, select the lips here, select the center point. So we have placed now the axis length we should consider that is 60 mm okay from the center of it. Now go to continuous line and draw tangential line for the ellipse. Okay. Okay, so that completes the isometric of it. Now we have to select the whole diagram and convert into isoscale. So go to scale here and in the scale we give the value 0.816 enter. So it will be converted into ISO here. So just to measure any the dimension you can see the dimension has been reduced. That means it indicates it has been converted.